Katie is out of town, so Rose has graciously agreed to take our minutes tonight. Thank you, Rose. And the orders are being passed around. Um, are there public comments for items not on the agenda? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I'm wondering, I don't know how Andy Felice is paid. I'm wondering if he could maybe spend a day in the next three weeks or something over at the town hall. All you, you got to do is office. ask him. Yeah, well, just ask he's him. He's an employee. You just got to ask him. You can do it. Yeah. Just like that. I mean, he would be paid after. Okay. I mean, he's yeah. been over there a lot. Not, I mean, just kind of wandering around. Yeah. But we could, if you can we could use it for a day. And, yeah. Okay. Yeah, great. Thanks. Yeah. Um... I do want to move one item to later in the evening. Um, the update on the union, I want to move till later because I don't want to load people up from their presentations and stuff. And Alfred, you don't need to, to stay for that part of it. So, so you don't have to worry about, about it. We can, you can review the minutes or I can update you. It's no, no big deal. It's just process stuff. Okay, so Alfred, do you have any updates? The mower is out and about. Um, we got a little over a week left. Who's running it? Jacob's been Jacob's the most. It. Yeah. Um, Doug Grout tried to want to use it to do it for us, and it just the shape of the tractor cab inside it bothers his knee. Oh, okay. We couldn't push the clutch or the brake one. We couldn't push it yeah. as well, so he decided not to not do it anymore. Okay. So we got one day out, and then he didn't just going to do it yeah. anymore. So. And is Jacob doing that within his 40 hours, or is yes, he... yes. Okay, good. Uh, he did. He asked last Friday uh, if he could work, which is normally a day off, but he mm -hmm. and we we're sort of behind on getting. All the way around the town with mm -hmm. him, so I said, "Yeah, go ahead and work the the overtime." Yeah. Uh, he was out sick today, so I had Bruce on him, <coughs> uh, sort of letting everybody kind of turn at it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's one of those fun toys that we get to play with. Right. There you uh, go. But yeah, so I don't know if you have heard anything good, bad, or otherwise about it. It's a new machine. It's we've been kind of knocking some of the brush back as we can. Mm -hmm. But our main focus is getting the second time around for the moment. Okay, John. So that's a uh, a fifty one ten, that model tractor. Yeah. Um, I just kind of I saw it go by today. Yeah. And uh, I said, hmm. And uh, I looked. Now I can't find it. But I just kind of wondered what that thing cost. It's very similar to mine. It's the updated version. And I saw one. It's it in like brand new shape. It's got a sidearm articulating mower. It's got 40 hours on it, and it's got a rear mower, $69,000. Huh. 69,000 with both mowers and the tractor. Right. 40 hours. Just want to put that on your radar. It's an amazing price. Oh. It's a brand new tractor. <clears throat> so, but you know that's what they're going for used. You don't have to spend $100,000. What I'm saying. Yeah. Um, right. <clears throat> like East Montpelier did. Yeah. It's not a John Deere either. It's it's a good tractor. Um, yeah, we've had some problems with this one already. It's, already, really? Yeah. I mean, transmission issues. It kept stopping. So they they came and it was I don't know what they did, but it was it's fixed now. Okay. Well, there you go. Okay. Yeah. Well, you get to test run it and see how it does. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't think you'll buy this one for sixty nine thousand. You know. Yes. Yeah. No, but I'm you suggesting know. that there are tractors out there to look for yeah. that yeah. we can that are within our price range down the road. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then I, you sent me an email because I was asking about the cutting of limbs and stuff, and you said that the pole well, saw. Well, there's one. There's one limb that was brought to my attention on Tucker. Last select board meeting. I went and looked at it, and it's it's broke off way up high. Right. So it takes a pole saw, which is a handheld weed whacker with a chainsaw blade. Yeah. Uh, it was in bad repair, so I took it in last week to get it worked on, and I've got it back now. That's the tree so on Tucker, I, right? Yes. So now I'll be able to take care of that tomorrow. Probably. Okay. And you said Joe's going to go 
look at Joe Bain is going to go. Joe Bain is scheduled to cut those three trees this week. Okay. We talked to him last week and he was busy. busy that's the that. one on Bliss? Two on, uh, one on Bliss Road and, and two color, on Color, color Hill. Hill. Okay. Very good. Thank you for the update. Yeah. So those will be taken care of. Okay. We weren't able to uh, warn him because we just got the email today. It's this email from Peter Hartley. Yeah, yeah I saw that. that. Just so it's on everyone's radar. Yeah, it's actually Also, we we got an email from Peter Harvey about um, what road was it? Colin, County, 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 County Road. Seventy-eight, seventy-four County Road. Bob Bowles. Seventy-five foot right away. If they uh, have identified some wild parsnip. And yes, Bob Bull's driveway. So they're going to put up signs to not mow that section. Great. That's great. Okay. I'll, we'll have them pick the mower up and skip over it. Yeah. That's what the select board wants to do. Is that what the select board wants to do? Well, we haven't. We just got the email got today, the email so today. we can warn it. So. We can't even make a decision. But just a heads up, I don't know where Jacob is. I didn't get the message, or what, how do you want no, me to do it? Did you, where is Jacob in his work? He's going to, he's uh, probably going to be counting. will be done before the next meeting. The next meeting, certainly, yes. What do you want to do, select word? Did anybody see the email from Peter about the wild person? I didn't read it because they're so expensive. I know. Um, the bottom line is it's a portion of the county road. That he's asking that not be mold because it's full of wild parsnip. I did not read the entire email either. 180 points in a 75 foot stretch on the steep bank in the right of way northeast from the northwest corner of the house. And he wants to know if he can put out his signs. Did he talk to Bob Bowles? I mean, I'm not sure. Yes, saying. he did. He did. Yeah. It sounded like he already put the signs up. Did, he was uh, did you get the email too? I did. Oh. It sounded like he already had the signs out and he was asking permission to leave them. I think the signs are there because I just saw it and I thought, yeah, that's kind of weird. Oh, okay. You know, like this time of year, I wasn't expecting to see those exclusion so, areas. Yeah, bottom so line what, of his email is he's asking, can we leave the signs up and have that section? So I mean, that's kind of a continuation of a subject we've been talking about all summer, so. <clears throat> so what's the alternative if we if don't say, pull it? Who's going to pick it? Somebody has to pick it or pull it? Or you just let it go to seed, or well, you don't. You just let it go, and then we try not to spread the seed. Try not to spread all it over town. Is the object. Concerned. So I don't know if it if it affects the sight distances there on County Road. I wouldn't think so. Uh, probably not. I haven't seen the site specific, but so let's say that this is a. It is actually a continuation of a project that Peter came to us with this early summer. You remember? So. Um, <laughs> for that reason, and if it doesn't affect sight distances, it seems to me to make sense to let him have his signs up and not mow it. So Jacob can lift, to, lift the arm or whatever you call it up. Other select board members agree? That we're not mowing it for a time being. Right. right. Okay. As long as it's not. Affecting them. Right. The sight distance. Right. right. All right. Um, Kirk Cut. Is Brian Thomas here? Uh, I am. You're Brian. Hi, yes. Brian. Hi. How nice are you? Off. Welcome I'm to Dallas. Thank you. Thanks for coming. I appreciate you. Um, I did go and look at it. I originally thought for some reason it was off of the county road, but it's not. It's off of the uh, meadow road. Uh, and I went up there Sunday afternoon after something else was in town and looked at it and it, it's the one with the yellow flags, right? Yeah. Because there's one something further up on the right that has orange flags. Uh, it's really, it's not much farther away. It's, 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 it's like uh, this pasture. Yeah. Freshly brushed off. Pasture. Yep, I saw that. Yep. So is that, are you building a house in there? The, that's the idea, yes. Okay. Great. I mean, we're, we're, that's the plan. Our, we don't own the property yet. We're working with the owners, Brian and Devin. Mm -hmm. 
who are friends of ours, and we got the subdivision approved, and now the curb cut would be for a driveway. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we only approve the curb cut, we don't approve yeah. driveways. No, 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 I understand. They're different. <laughs> They're two different things. I agree. just want to be clear. Yeah, yeah, no, I understand. Because I know some just people think we do, but no, no, right. we just do the curb cut. Right. The driveway's a different permit. Right. Yeah. And you said the side distances were okay? Yeah, I can. I think we, they're not the 300 feet that we require, mm -hmm. but given that it's a low travel, low speed road, I think we can allow it. It's it's sort of on a corner where you can see both ways. Yeah. Um, I, I think it'll be fine. Yeah, I drove. I mean, the permit said you measured it, must be. Yeah, it was like, like 260, something 260. It's really close to what we yeah. require, so I think it would be Well, fine. I drove up it and then back again, and I thought that. Yeah. I think I think safety wise it's totally fine. I think it'd be totally fine. And that's a class four? <coughs> no. Three. Okay. Does it need a culvert? I would recommend a culvert, yes. Um, because I mean oh, I clearly know. right now there's not much of a ditch, but the there should be and the will have to be there. when we get the driveway in. Yeah. So a fifteen inch mm -hmm. culvert. Barbara, did you have a question? No, I was just stretching. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Judy's getting me the sign-off form. Anybody else have a I have a question. So is the curb cut where the arrow is, where it no, says no, no, Long Meadow Hill? No, I'm sorry. It, on the original, it was <coughs> highlighted in yellow, but it must not have come through. But it's right above the 2 of the 8.2. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Right there. Yeah. So that square, the 8.2 acres, is that what you're looking that's by? The new, so, yeah, that's the new uh, piece of land. Parcel. parcel. Yeah. Thank you, Judy. This is the approval of the Thank you. And um, what did you say, Oliver, for a culvert? Uh, 15 inch. And our procedure here in Cal's is they buy the culvert and the road crew will install it, correct? Uh, no, not for all curb cuts. It's, that procedure is only for if I'm doing ditching and I get to a spot where there's a driveway oh, okay. that doesn't have a culvert or, or needs one. For new construction, the town's not doing that. Okay. But certainly I'll, you know, I'll work. You can work with the with you to whatever you that you're excavating to, you know, get it to the shape and the, the form that we want it. And yeah. who orders the culvert? The contractor. The contractor. Okay. So I'm just going to put down. It needs a 15-inch culvert. Needs to be installed. Um, anything else, Alfred? No. I mean, the the, the two big things are the culvert and, and the sight distance, and I. So I'm just going to say it doesn't. It's not going to be an issue for the road, I don't think, either. Sight distance. <coughs> Standards, but it is a low speed, low traveled road. So what I'll do is um, we'll make a motion to approve this, and I'll finish filling it out and mail it to you. Mm -hmm. And this mailing address here, this uh, middle road yeah. in Plainfield, is the correct address? Okay. Correct. Yeah. And then once you get it done, Alfred has to come and inspect it, and then he signs off that um, it's in right. compliance with the condition here. Mm -hmm. Okay? Fair enough. Yeah. Very good. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. All right, so I would entertain a motion to approve the curb cut for Brian Thomas with a 15 inch culvert that needs to be installed and noting that it doesn't quite meet the site distance standards, but it's a low speed, low traveled road, so it should be okay. Okay, does anybody want to second that? Second. All right, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 All right.
just pass this around for signature and we can move on. Anything else? Alfred? No? Okay. Just non ditching and culverts and just summer projects. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Got the snow plows ready? It's cold no, enough? No, we have not. I saw the town truck, I saw the state <laughs> highway garage yes. had trucks ready. Uh, Four oh, yeah. <laughs> They're probably brand new trucks that they're getting. Yeah, together. that's where they get oh, ready. That's where they land. Yeah. Terrible. Okay, thank you. Um, before you leave, it was I'm desperately getting rid of zucchini bread. <laughs> I made zucchini bun cake, chocolate zucchini bread. Now there's pork in zucchini bread. You guys have some if you want some. This is for the for and I'm frosty. <laughs> and there's more zucchini. It was 78 <laughs> And more zucchini. Crash. All right. So, um, yeah, I was 30 years ago. Yes, yeah. this is right here. Yeah, you look familiar for some reason, but I can't figure out why. Post office wall. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it was GQ, GQ magazine. GQ magazine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so do we have that called up, Cliff? We're looking for the design contract. Design contract. Design contract, design contract. yes. Um, So I did read this, most of it, today. Do you want to just walk us through the contract? That's basically just for the design of the interior of this space. Um, to put together a set of plans, a combination of floor plans, select elevations, 3D perspectives if needed, mm -hmm. um, so that the project can go out to bid to a variety of contractors. Um, basically, it's based on a sort of an hourly rate, the not to exceed price, mm -hmm. and then um, my my company, Steeplechase, also does construction as well. So that's as, as you can see, this other bolted. You know, there's the part that's like, if desired, to you could, you could do the whole. Yeah, thing. you know, but I understand that has to sort of go out to bid. So, um, then just go through sort of basic payments and. I did have a question at number four. So the project cost not to see five thousand. That's just for the, the design. design. Yeah, it, I, my, I anticipate that it would be much less than that. Mm -hmm. You know, but I figured it would just be good to sort of have a cap. You know, I, I right. It's pretty straightforward for the most part with no exterior yeah. renovations. It's mainly just the interior. You do roofs. Um, I, I, my company doesn't do roofs, but we have a variety of contractors who <laughs> are qualified and I'm sure for standing seam, asphalt, mm -hmm. all that. So you can see, you know, how nice this is right now. Yeah. And there's a lot of light. When this building was first designed, there was one person. Mm -hmm. You know, and which maybe a great part, office. Which was great, <laughs> right. But now, given the amount of people, we have the two and a half We'll have people in there. We've got three listers, yeah. um, a ton of people in and out of the vault, mm -hmm. and there's no private space for like um, human resources yeah. discussions. Somebody might be delinquent on their taxes and want to talk to the treasurer and not want everybody to be over here. And there's absolutely no, there's yeah. really no place. Yeah. So the needs have changed significantly from when it was originally built. Right. But you know, I mean, it's very quaint. We really yeah. like it. It's got a lot of good light, yeah. um, but we understand that for the office staff, it, it just doesn't work now. Yeah. And as you can see, I don't know if you were here before they moved stuff out into the container, but it's, it's a little bit more spacious. Yeah, it's a little bit. All of this used to be <laughs> down there in that corner. Right. Yeah. There used to be a yeah. tall counter shop. So the office staff put together a list of things that they would like. Yeah. We have no idea how much that's going to cost. Um, so I guess we would wait for you to do this piece to know that piece, Yeah, correct? I mean, that would be the sort of, you know, to figure out, you know, I have their list and objectives mm -hmm. and in, in conjunction with yours and listers and all that. Um, put together a plan that would rework the existing space in a smart, sensible way, so to sort of mm -hmm. meet the needs and hopefully be within the budget. 
but uh, it seems reasonable mm -hmm. that it could be done for the sort of stated cost would be. For the design. Well, for, I mean, I think the design for sure, but as far as the overall scope of the project, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, it's not like going to cost. So we're not talking about ripping out walls. Yeah, no, it's, if anything, it's like, you know, adding a few walls, moving this one around a little bit here and there, you know, picking out specifics of flooring and, you know, other materials and mm -hmm. things like that. It was mainly more of an interior design <laughs> job versus, you know, there's, as I said, there's no structural elements involved mm -hmm. or anything like that. You know, probably some electrical work here and there. Uh, probably. Um, yeah, and some of the functions that we have here now, like select board meetings, planning commission meetings, things like that, once the town hall is <clears throat> done being renovated, yeah. those will move over. So like this table won't need to be here. It could be a smaller table. Mm -hmm. We want to set up a, um, a laptop computer for public use, so like when attorneys are coming in and mm -hmm. things like that, I'm sure they've explained all that to you. Yeah, I have, I have a list with, you know, all yeah. the sort of objectives, and you know, that really helps as far as figuring out the program for the design. Right. You know, I'm sure there'll be some more back and forth conversations with, you know, with the works mm -hmm. here, sort of figure out, you know, fine tune, I might have some questions here and there. What's your timeline to do um, this? Well, I guess it's sort of, you know, now that we're, this would be the sort of signing of the contract, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, I, I said to them that originally, they were like, I'll have a design by September 1st. And based on my schedules, I said, I'm sort of wear two hats of designing and building. So mm -hmm. um, things are starting to slow down and wrapping up the project in you know, the next two weeks or so, um, which will allow me more time to jump into some design work and move this one along. Okay. Board members, questions? Have, Judy, have there been review of references and things like this? Um, how did we find you? How did we find you? We, we have been asking lots and lots of people um, for recommendations, and I'm not positive that we that there was any one person in particular. Um, we have been asking so many people mm -hmm. that well, all the post office with me. <laughs> <laughs> Where is your business based out of Robert? Montpelier? Out of Montpelier. So we do a lot of work in Montpelier, residential work and whatnot. So familiar with all the code compliance. I saw things. your pictures on your website, your work books here. Yeah, we do a, a broad range of sort of modern design stuff to classical mm -hmm. um, so sort of interior you know, major mm -hmm. renovations new construction do you do historic uh, we have been involved with some historic projects here and there mm -hmm. I got my start right out of college as a historic restoration you know, when I was in my 20s which is a couple of years ago right no <laughs> not, not quite. Uh, um, Do a lot, do a lot more sort of modern stuff. Um, we met with Will and talked about and reviewed, you know, our list of what we're looking for, which you basically summarized. And um, we have the timeline, you know, the, the general budget or the ballpark kind of area that we're working with. We're hoping that this project could um, be biddable so that we could actually do the project in April or May. Um, so that we'd actually need, might need to close down the office for a week and work remotely somehow mm -hmm. from the town hall. Because um, we would love to have this changed before the next cycle of really busy tax time mm -hmm. and um, elections and that kind of thing. So that would, April is kind of a, a window of opportunity for. So we're looking at next year to do the. To the actual, to, to, to actually do the physical work. So it would happen through the winter? Uh, but, well, we. We work with Will in terms of the design and selling on the design, and then time it so that mm -hmm. things it could go out to bid, so that we can make a deci decision to in order to get the work started. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're looking to actually have the construction done after budget time, after annual report time, after <coughs> town meeting yeah. time, <laughs> That's right. and then the the month after that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. After the primary. Right. <laughs> oh. After the I mean, there's a lots of projects going on in town. You know, we've got the town hall, we've got yep. the old West Church, um, Memorial Hall. Memorial Hall. <laughs> Calus is a busy town. Yeah. 
<laughs> so, but you know, I, like I said, I would like to remember, you know, how this came about, who designed it initially, and worked on it. There's some sentimental value there. And and we'll pass the original design that John did, and mm -hmm. um, and John just hasn't had time. He, you know, oh, John doesn't want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't like it. I'm here to sleep for him. But I do have a question. Yes. Um, uh, have you had any experience with municipal buildings? Uh, I have not, no. Do you have an architect or an engineer who will sign up on the plans? Because I do work with engineers and there's yeah. architects. Because I mean, labor and industrial will be in here. And, yeah. yeah. Good question. We talked about handicap accessibility and those mm -hmm. requirements and um, that you know, that will need to be taken into consideration. Right, right. And what are you using for money? Town, hall, uh, town office reserve fund. I guess I have a concern that that was voted by the voters for repair and maintenance. And I certainly understand the need, you know, to have private space in here, but I'm not sure that the voters intended that money to be used for renovation. A relatively new redesign, rebuild of. What? Well, I think the renovation we could put to a vote at town meeting. That's what I'm wondering is if. Yeah, we can, we can do but that. The, but the design work. piece, we can. Yeah. Would that be a problem? I don't know how much money's in that fund, but. What is it? Sandra, do you know roughly? I thought it was like 60. <coughs> uh, 59,000 59, ish. And then there would be, assuming, another vote at town meeting to put another 10. It would depend on what you're going to put in um, your, in your appropriation. Yeah. I would think a town meeting may have to vote specifically to use money for this specific renovation. Well, it's out of that reserve. Out of that reserve. Fund. I'm not even talking about the reserve, and I just think the town, maybe the towns people need to vote on. Yeah, they we think, do that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Put an article. Well, you've used the town hall reserve fund for the renovation of the town hall. Yeah, because the maintenance board. has been done on that forever and ever and ever. It was way beyond maintenance. It was, I mean, well, yeah, but cool. we have four hundred thousand dollars specifically for that project. Okay, and so I think we can just. I think we're, we're not gonna. We're not gonna. I can assure you, you're gonna have money for the hall. We all want that done. So I'm not worried about the town hall. I'm just saying that. Right. I'm really interested in town in 2014 yeah. when this town is put aside. Well, I think we just have an article on the warning to mm -hmm. ask to use those funds to make renovations. You know what I propose we do? Suggest we do. I'm losing my voice. Um, that we borrow from the fund the three to five thousand dollars needed to design in anticipation of warning it town meeting mm -hmm. and then we do the whole little project including the design roll that into the, the number that mm -hmm. we put out for the vote in town meeting and then we would it make avoid. sense to, to consider tying in the roof repair at the same time yeah yes we need yeah. that because we have we have a bid from um, Green Diverge. Um, we have a bid from Hutchins. Hutchins? But and that was for the roofing. I talked to Andy Felice. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can talk about that after this. But well, it kind of ties in, though, because... Well, well, in terms of the number, right. we should add the Hutchins bid number. <coughs> and then uh, but that's Andy, that's, that's, that's the roofing, mm -hmm. but the actual carpentry that needs to happen underneath to correct the deficiencies that led to the roof problem. Well, that's why I was asking him if he did roofs. I don't know if well, they do that part of it. Oh, in terms of repair. Right, that's what I was getting at when I asked about the uh, roof. Do you see what I mean? Right, well, you're I talking about the carpentry work. Right, whatever that part yeah, is. Yes, the substructure. Yeah, and that would be something that my firm is capable of. You know, once the roof, you know, moves off, Mm -hmm. Not knowing anything about this. Yes, yeah, so we don't know what's going on under there, so we got to peel back some standing seam in the back. Yeah. We know there's some rot, mm -hmm. there's some leakage, um, and there's some design issues too, frankly, but um, that are causing the problem. But uh, so we, we're going to need to peel it back and see what next steps are required. So I'm wondering if the, that could be part of the scope. Of the scope of, goes out to bid. Right. Yeah. I think it, those really, we want, it was supposed to get done this summer. But we can't really bid it because we don't know what it is. Right. So Andy said he was willing to do that work next year, the carpentry work. Oh, so, okay. I'm so, just a little confused. He's an employee. If we, it's, I'm sorry, but, uh, 
if if there's no issue around the fund being used for repairs, why would that need to go to the voters? Well, so, and I'm I just, just want to relate things if right. if that's going to confuse people that they have to give permission right. to fix it. But right. So well, I wasn't thinking about asking it to the voters. I was thinking about oh, the what terms of their the bid. Unless it's ready. Now, John yeah, says Andy's going to do the work. Yeah, Andy. But it was Andy supposed to get done this summer and didn't. You mean like there's nobody yeah. else that we can hire to do that? Well, the is thing, the problem is you got to book these roofers a year, a year in advance. And I, I, in advance of the, the roofing season, basically, this summer. Mm -hmm. So, so this is the time right now gonna, you don't want to open it up now. Right. Um, and so, so the idea would be, and I spoke with Andy about this yesterday. The thinking is that we can book Hutchins in August. That'll give Andy from May until August. Of next year? Yeah, to rip it apart and, and deal with it. So, okay, so I, I guess we need to just keep them separate. Yeah. separate. Never mind. Well, that's a good idea. I was just trying to make You'll it have your easier. your appropriation in for next year. We'll have what? You'll have your appropriation in for the town office. You'll want to take that into consideration right. when you Right. Create your budget. Right. Yeah. That makes good sense. Yeah. Okay, so tonight what we're doing is doing as John suggested to borrow from, but really it's, we have. Um, we could, but we'll borrow. We have a fund balance. So, yeah. Um, that can get caught up with. Yeah. After we take the vote at town meeting, correct? We have a fund balance. You have a reserve, reserve fund, fund balance. Is that what you mean? No, we have a fund balance going forward into FY20, correct? Yes. Okay. Well, I get, I'm confused. Are you borrowing borrowing from the reserve fund? Right. 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 Not from your fund balance. You right. have money in your reserve fund. Right. Okay. So that was your suggestion. Mm -hmm. Do you want to make a motion? That is a motion. Oh, okay. Oh, really? That way is, <laughs> Who's that taking is. the minutes tonight? I'm, I'm, I'm converting it into a motion. <laughs> okay, I'm going to use the No, it was a suggestion. That yeah, I like thought you suggested it. And then made it a motion. Okay. Sir, could you please restate your motion? I don't know what the hell is. <laughs> that we, we borrow from. We call it the town hall, town, town, town office, office, town office reserve fund. It's business slash, isn't it both? No, no. no we them out. Town <laughs> office reserve fund. <laughs> yeah. I have to give him a hug. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sick. <laughs> um, town office reserve fund mm -hmm. up to five thousand dollars. Hopefully, it'll be much less to perform the design work. Um, uh, that design work would be performed by Steeplechase, Steeplechase Design and Build, LLC, um, and in anticipation of that uh, next year's budget, including a reimbursement to the fund for the design work. Well, is it really going to be in the budget, or it's going to be a warned article by the voters? Okay. Well, it's confusing. Well. It would be it would be incorporated in the overarching warrant article, and that we would have that would be in our budget. Right. So so the his, article his entire motion is budget. talking about the whole actual renovation, right? No, it's a design, oh. it, no I'm no, talking uh, the, uh, the motion talking is about the five thousand. Well, the motion this. is that, but there's but a, we don't need to do anything about. But it's just just acknowledging that it, we're going to re, re, refill the the fund. The borrowed money in the fund. As, yeah, just as do part this. Of, as part of our next budget cycle. Yeah, we'll do it. All right, I'll second it. Maybe still. All right, is there any further discussion, questions? That makes sense? Yeah, I can give Joe a talk. Um, so I'm just wondering if that bump kind of pushes it to the following year because if it has to be voted at March. We will not have things out to bid if it's not approved. So then it would go out to bid. And it would probably need to, if it's approved, then it would be done maybe in the summer. Is that what you, <clears throat> that's what you mean, right? Mm -hmm. Or do you mean no, the whole project? I, we're, ta we're borrowing the money. I think we borrow the money now in the project. For the whole project? For the town hall. I'm sorry. Town office 
this fund, the, the design, design and that's what we're voting on right now, the design, but we can have a further discussion about the other monies when we do the budget. <coughs> but I, th I'd like for us to refill right, the borrowed money. Will can come back to us with the design, with how much it might cost, and then we can look at doing a similar thing yeah. with the <coughs> cost of the motivation. Yeah. We got a fund, and a rich. We fill it. I think we just need to change the wording of motion of the reserve fund. The okay. purpose, right? The purpose of the reserve fund. All right. Is everybody clear? Motivation. You had a question, Alfred? Yeah, I was just curious as to how bad the rod is. I mean, we if it's not rot and it's leaking, is it going to collapse? It only, no, 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 it's not like that. Well, I'm just, that's why I'm asking. I don't know how bad it's, the it's, rod it's is. It's in the trim. So this it's is coming out the eve. <laughs> Can I just background on this? Yeah, I mean, this has been going on for years. It's worth thing. Two years. Um, so what happened was that um, when Tom Frost was painting, he realized that the wood back there was wet. Mm -hmm. So then Ernie and John came and looked at it, and come to find out the roof had been put on the, upside the metal down. upside down. Great. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. so, so not, then... Uh, so that was the fall of 2017. We got a quote from Hutch for $5,000, or Hutchins for $5,000, and he was going to do it in April of 2018, but nothing ever happened. But that didn't include the repair. Right. I mean, they they, said, and who knows what's in there now. They get it ready for us, and they'll do yeah. it. Yeah. Right. Well, I'm just, I mean, when a roof leaks, there's all kinds of things that go yeah. bad. Yeah. You've got mold issues, you've got starting to rot. Is, yeah. And then this winter, if we get a lot of snow, you've got collapsing. I just wonder how extensive the look was when they when they evaluated it. I mean, are the rafters rotted? No, 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 no. It's or is it it's only in the the I the they get an ice. There's a porch out there, and there's a change in slope also on that side. So the snow sheds down, hits that flatter area, and would probably go off, but for that porch. So then it goes over that and it backs up. So we're getting a nice dam. So it's not leaking until we get to that oh, so stage. It's only when it's in the winter time, when it's, it's only like ice back. But yeah, yeah, March. Yeah. Okay. And 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 it's from what we can see, it's it's really just the the eve, the fascia. Right. Um, and John, and the only reason I ask is, yeah. you're talking about putting it off until next year. If that thing is still leaking for another year, things are going to run. The, the problem the is, and then you the, have structural starts coming down. No, no, I know. No, right. And, and we'd like to do it now, but the problem is in Vermont, you know, carpenters and roofers, you, you book them so, like doctors. So Andy a year said out. That, yeah. Andy said that he could do some some minor caulking and some things right. to kind of hold it right. for the winter. To keep it from So I, I assume we would have to do that if yeah. we could move forward. Is he gonna do that piece That's of my understanding. Can we are is anybody ready to vote? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none. Motion carries. All right, so we'll wait to get your design. Good. Thank you for coming today. Yeah. I'm going to have a piece of zucchini bread. <laughs> <laughs> Head on home, if that's okay. Yeah. Help yourself. Take Sorry. a big piece. i got two more loaves at home. These plates. <laughs> when did you have time to make all that? <sighs> Sunday right. afternoon, you, I would, I'll tell you my story sometime. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. So are you staying for the entertainment I'm, value? Is the, I, I, I'm probably going to leave. I didn't. Didn't want to be rude and walk out, but oh, this is my favorite. Or you can stay for the long time. It wouldn't be rude. Is it fast enough? Let me move here. I really Planning to move to the house. I'm not afraid you can't move. Yeah, move to town quickly. I got to get that. Yeah, yeah. 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 Job description? Are we there already? Yeah. <laughs> God, I timed it right. You did. I was wondering if you were going to get in there in time. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
talking to the church. Sure. Okay. 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 So just back up a little bit. Well, I just like there's a few lines that are going to be fun. And then just ask. We are going to use the reserve fund for this And in anticipation of seeking reimbursement to the fund for those expenditures, next budget cycle at the town meeting. I'll just be a so wait, did you get one? I found that out. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
bylaws, and you're right. I mean, we can keep zoning regulations in. I mean, I think zoning regs is a much more common user-friendly term than bylaws. I mean, I, I think for the, I, the general I mean, public, I don't, I don't I don't care. Statute, I don't think, refers to bylaws. Right, bylaws is what the official right. statutory we, reference is. Because I looked it up. You could say the bylaws or zoning regulations. I mean, it doesn't yeah. matter. Sure. Yeah. Right. So I think you could you could just do it that way once, so that people. Because I know people glaze over when I've heard them, we've talked about bylaws, and I'm like, what? You say something, they're like, oh, okay. Yes, that's fine. I don't care about that. I mean, we can add that. Okay. So that's a good one. Um, I didn't have very many comments. So that one's taken, that one's addressed. Do you, okay, let me ask that then. Do you want the word bylaw? I mean, do you want zoning regs in place of bylaws in that paragraph? I think just do it once at the top. Okay, all right. And then hopefully people will remember. Okay. So bylaws slash zoning regulations. Well, the ZA, the, the ZA doesn't know by the end of the first day of his or her being on the job what, the, what a bylaw means. Right. Then we probably Don't hire the wrong person. Mm -hmm. I'm just thinking of anybody else that <laughs> reads that. Did you have something else, Sandra? No, I'm just going to that. Oh, okay. Thanks for coming. <laughs> See ya. Bye. Thank you all. Have a good night. Good night. I thought my calendar was calling me. Let's be very tired. All right. After the 17th, I yeah, yeah. got the state on it. Yeah. You're on my calendar for the oh. 17th. Okay. Okay. Cool. Let's just have it in that one section. Okay. And now we're to that might have been all of my comments, I don't remember. No, down here oh, we had start. we want to say something. Because you know how we right now there's a lot there's some documents that need to be put on the website. Well, <coughs> That's all part of maintaining the records for the zoning applications to permits. Provide a copy of the approved permits to buildings and subdivisions to the listers and prepare an annual report. Uh, does it have to go to the town clerk as well? It, it always goes to, that's, that's, that's in the procedure manual for the ZA. I mean, but, that's part of the ZA procedure manual. Right, and part of the NIST. Okay. Or could be routinely missed. Let me put it that way. Um, and I think you had another comment. You wanted something. You wanted something to be in expectations. Oh, um, I know. What this timely manner? We had a big debate about that. <clears throat> it's hard to define. I originally timely. had put in a, in one business day, and that got flouted, flown in my face. Well, that's uh, a little short. Well, it is. Um, but my whole reason for, and Melanie finally, I understood what she was saying, is that we have no way of monitoring the date mm -hmm. necessarily. That a phone call comes in, if, she, if, if the person calls, calls the zoning administrator, mm -hmm. nobody here is going to keep track of it. We just want them to... Yeah, you know, we can recommend on an interview. Right. We want it to be within a certain number of days. Mm -hmm. But they said for the purposes of a job description, right. say it's in a timely manner. It's a big debatable thing. I just know? remember we had an issue previously with document, you know, things getting done, phone calls being returned, mm -hmm. and timely manner is different for different people. So I don't know. Yeah. How we can better define that? Because I was thinking, like, we could say time and matter, and no later than two business days, or three business days. Three business days to me seems like a reasonable. Three business days. I they said one business day. Jan, or I originally one. had. Uh, I was pretty strict because my business thing was you call you contact a customer back in twenty five in one business. I, me too. But right. I, that's a but this, is a but this is a part time job, and right. it is and. Right. They might be sick. They might be That's away. Right. Uh, they might, you know, there's all kinds of things. So you have to give a little leeway here. Right. So That's a timely matter, but or and no later than no later than three business days. Uh, that sounds okay. That sounds reasonable. That covers all bases. Yeah. If you want to 
offer some more latitude to the person in this position, you could change that to acknowledge and or respond. So you can at least say, hey, we got this, we're working on it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That yeah. goes a long way, students. That's, yeah. and that, yeah. But that was one of the things that I was taught. I, can mm -hmm. call, I got your message, I'm sorry I can't get really? to it, but yeah. I will get back to you. Exactly. But that's, how, how much... Hand-holding? How much well, hand-holding do you yeah, have? That's, right. that's why we're having this discussion. Well, this yeah. stuff is never a problem when you have someone who's professional, but right. when you have a problem employee, these are the bases that you use yeah. right. for and dismissal. Is, right. And if you're not clear, then all of a sudden the language that everyone blessed, including the attorneys, like, Ooh. well, I wish we had given this more thought. Right. I'm uncomfortable with, you might be setting yourself up for. So it's good to be And that's why we're being really picky right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We've so, been there. So they've done that. Cliff, what, did we, what, were, what was your suggestion? I was just saying a possibility, um, not saying that we need to do this, but if we feel that there's concern about people in this position being able to fulfill this requirement and based upon the discussions you were having, mm -hmm. we can give them more latitude there by saying, you know, response can be an acknowledgement. Mm -hmm. So it would be acknowledge and or respond would to. That but you would could that, say, respond would that to off? certainly covers acknowledging. Right, mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. I think respond to Can we add respond to phone calls, comma, emails? Okay. <coughs> you want to say, well, yeah, email, yeah. yeah. Or you could just say phone calls, comma, this sounds a little pickier, correspondence that would cover emails and letters because it might not be an application. So it might, yeah, right, might be a letter, right? An attorney could inquiry. do a letter of inquiry and you know, phone calls. Inquiries. Almost everything. No, this correspondence. Involved. Everything mostly comes in, as I know it. That Donna, are you here? It, it, most of the time, it comes in by phone. We, when I look through a lot of that stuff, mm -hmm. there's nothing written. We get all kinds of phone calls before people even, yeah, do an application. But I think I don't think it would hurt to add inquiries or correspondence <coughs> to, to that sentence, just so we're clear. Yeah. Okay. In case we have future problems. We're going to get a John McCullough clone. Hmm? That's what we're going to get. Yeah, John McCullough clone. So, it's not part time. It's $200. We'll have to do a job search in California. Can somebody, uh, you know, I I'm making notes here, but I'm not sure I'm writing them right. So, is anybody here that can. Uh, Cliff's still there. They can do that. Will you do that for well, me? Would you like me to capture Well, I, I think it's. You're, you're saying. Calls. Do you want to say acknowledge or respond? I'm fine with respond. Okay, to phone calls, comma, emails. Or I think John said correspondence, which I think covers. Or correspondence that. and applications in a timely manner and no later than three business days. That's you already have an and in there. Sorry, just so used to typing an and after a comma. <laughs> in a timely manner, but no later than. Are we taking out to maintain good customer relations? You could take it yeah, out. Yeah, that's I think that's, that's, yeah. I remember why that phrase was put in way back when. <laughs> Well, you you're writing on the one, right. the other one, okay, yeah. as opposed to the final one that I had. But yeah, that, that's okay. Yeah, I can save a version of what right. we're editing mm -hmm. here, mm -hmm. compare it to the final one that you approved, and make okay. sure it's all, Thank and you. then email it. Okay. And you just, uh, and when you let me know, then we will uh, put it on the town's website, and then we'll start writing out ad ads. Okay. <clears throat> hmm. 
figure out why you couldn't name a document with slashes, but they have slashes in code or date modified. The computer puts in by itself. It's a, it's a decimal slashes and hmm? it's a programming command, so yeah. it starts to think that it means something else. Yeah. All right, and then else. Okay, so um, this. The one thing about making sure things are filed, <coughs> you said that's a given. Okay. We've had that as a problem in the past. We just want to make sure, we don't want to make sure we say that. What, that they go to the town clerk? And that they need to be put on the website. A lot of the number seven on the duties and responsibilities are what's in the CALIS ZA procedure manual. The CALIS procedure manual? Or the ZA? Yeah. The ZA, the CALIS ZA procedure manual. Is that different than... Who is, made is that? Yeah. Dot, Dot and John made a CALIS ZA procedure manual. Okay. I have it. Uh, Doc forwarded it to me. And a lot of, there's a lot of step-by-step -step mm -hmm. itemization of what you do. Yeah. Which a lot of this stuff in item 7 is listed in it. And so... We, we aren't saying that they have to follow it necessarily, but we are saying that we want their help to update it as their jobs change, if it changes. Okay. So we've added the eight, use and help, use, and then help update the CALIS CA procedure name. says you wanted an expectation mm -hmm. and I think you referred it to is that. up in number 13 <coughs> we added a 13 it said willingness and ability to participate in relevant educational seminars and the Vermont ZA so you change reliable transportation to 14 and put 15. yes 13. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. so then that took care of that making it part of expectations Mm -hmm. And then we could take out all the helpful aids because we moved all of that up there. Okay. The, same thing, the same thing with the procedure manual by putting it into the duties and responsibilities and into the expectations, we could get rid of that helpful hint. Yeah. Yeah, it's not just a hint. <laughs> so what we want. So that's what, that was what, uh, this is what we approved on. Okay, so you approve this on September 3rd. 3rd. All right, so select board. Are you good with these changes and ready to approve the job description changes? Yep. All right? Yes. So I'll make a motion to approve the revised zoning administrator job description as presented by the planning commission with select board edits. So approve the revised ZA job description. job description as approved by the planning commission on September 3rd. With further with select, select board, board edits. With select board edits. That's concise. So I'm going to mash up you know, that yeah. you and Denise, and then if I missed anything, you both have an opportunity to remind me to add it. Okay. Second. All right. Any further discussion, comments? Comments? I have comments after you vote. <laughs> after you vote? Yeah, 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 I, I, it's not about that. It's about oh, something okay. else about zoning. All right. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? 
Hearing none, motion carries. Thank you for working on this planning commission. And, the, and the, uh, one thing that I realized is that the old one was done in 2015. So I'm beginning to wonder, what's the longevity of a zoning administrator? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we I don't think we changed anything when John took over. He's no, just kind of, he, did, he just kind of jumped in there to help us out. Yeah, well, I put together temporarily this, for a this, few this weeks. This is a step by step zoning procedure. It's like a checklist. Right, and John did, did that. that. I, I did I, that. You did that. I found that the other day when we were going. Yeah, through and this this is it's like you check it off and you go through and it tells what the yeah it tells what John does. It tells what mm -hmm. Dot does. It says what the clerk does. But we don't know if Dot's gonna if we're having a Dot. We're having one person that's going to do both a dot and a john. Oh, right, right, right. So it's got to be kind of combined. But no, but I'm just, I'm just saying if this exists, it was really helpful because it was it, the, the dot right. john, the other procedures kind of, it's more of a, a lot of verbiage, I think, mm -hmm. than the dot hat. Yeah. And I did this because it is like step by step. So yeah, was what we could do. incorporate that into the right. I'm just saying, procedure menu. I'm just yeah. saying that this is here. Yeah. Right, okay. Yeah. That's a good point. Okay. That so, is good, Donna. Yeah, checklists help. Checklists are very helpful. Well, so, um, if they if they use them. Well, that, <laughs> Judy's not using them. I can say that right now. <laughs> so, Jan, what's the? So now you're going to do? Oh, do you want to speak first? Or not? Oh, um, so it's just really important you find somebody. I mean, for, for what John does for two hundred dollars a month, and he was appointed. It was supposed to be temporary. I know. Like, a few weeks. A few weeks. And he's made a promise that when he turns 70, he's not going to be on any committees. So you guys have got one year and about three smokes. months to find a planning commission person, a lister, and well, a zoning no, administrator. Hmm? It won't be the same them. without him. Well, it's going, to, it's going to take a long time for somebody. For, I mean, John's going to have to train this person. Yeah, we right. figure, yeah. Uh, we well, figure I just think you... it's going to be a year-long project because by the time we find somebody, now, if we're lucky, Maybe somebody from town, Whitbury or Marshfield or right, or whatever might that. want another job, and they right. might and have knowledge, and they might, you know, who knows? Mm -hmm. and that would be good because then we don't do we have a residency. Right. No, it doesn't have to be a residency. Not, residen ZA. not for ZA because our employee. Really, there's no, no residency. We've had a ZA we had before from your smoke here. I know. Right. You know what's interesting is the person <laughs> from huh? the person from Worcester is the zoning administrator in Montpelier. Hmm. Or the zoning administrator in Montpelier and here. So will you know she she lives in Worcester, but she's the zoning oh. administrator, which is a full time position in Montpelier. Yeah. So will uh, you post the ad on the surrounding towns front porch for? I was going to. Yeah. Okay. And what's the time? I'm not. That well, I don't know. If I get this, get this final. I would say I get it to Judy. I want it up on the website before I run the ads. And I want to do front page form, and then I think we want an ad in the Times Argus. And the Hardwood Gazette. And the does. Hardwood Gazette. Yeah. Yeah. And you can also put it on um, Vermont League of Cities and Towns has a oh, yeah. job site. Maybe planning, too. How about VT Digger? About regional planning yes, so I would. Job site too. Yeah. What How about VT say? Digger? That's where you get a lot of young folks. Reading. They don't have ads. They don't have any ads for that. I, they were starting to do I thought they did stuff like that. They're thinking a bit. All right, they started their chat. Seven days. That draws people in. Seven days as a whole. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Jan, for our uh, Thanks, Jan. Moving that along. <laughs> yes. I, I stalled as long as I could. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Our porch for Thank you all. Thank you. Yep. Um, oh, and at Town Hall. VLCT. VLCT and, and Central Vermont Planning. Because yes, they do, um, they have done joint meetings with um, yeah. ZAs and planning and DRB <laughs> mm, <laughs> yeah. uh, round tables. Okay. Let's just leave it like that. <laughs> all right. Um, okay, am I done? You're done. Thank okay. you very much, Mel. So which one are you staying for? I've got a little bit of interest in the shed letter. The shed letter? Parking. Parking. Park. Oh, of course. Yeah. Of course we, we can jump down to that. That's under my kind of update thing, right? Yep. So 
Dot Mailer, the Dorothy Mailer, <coughs> sent me an email asking if we could send Elizabeth Shed a letter asked, reminding her that parking in the road night and day is not an option in Calix. So I said I would ask the board, and it's underneath my update, um, to see if the board would like me to draft something, maybe run it by Jim Barlow. Didn't we already send her a similar letter? We never did. I don't think we ever did. I'll look and see, but I don't think we did. Here's a request <coughs> from her father that we write a letter. What we other didn't request? Bring that down as regards to the issue of the horses running in our <coughs> um, That's all been resolved. Oh, yeah, it's worked For like now. a charm. Um, For now. We, no, uh, we opted sure not to. <laughs> we opted not to uh, write the letter uh, because the neighbors had already put together a letter and right. presented it yeah. to her. Um, the issue of the cars uh, being parked in the town right uh, away. Town right away. At one point, she had a wagon that was parked out there. You yeah, remember the tarp wagon? Yep. And Wilson, um, I was with him, uh, told her that yeah, that's not an option. And she did move the wagon. Mm -hmm. And I, I think it might have been out there one more time and then she moved it. It has been an issue since. The thing with the car is newer. Uh, she, when she, she first got back in the town, um, if, she, if she doesn't have a car, she has access to one, uh, is what I understand. And that um, when she first got back into town, uh, she was parking it out there. That was back when a lot of the meetings were going on for the school board and whatnot. And uh, Dot had mentioned it to the select board. By the time we had met, she'd already moved it, and Dot said it hadn't been an issue until this And I think it's probably going to be an on and off issue, so I don't think a letter would hurt to have it on, on the record. So we say vehicles. Any other and other obstructions? Exactly. Right. Like she can't park, you know, tire horses up in the town right away, right. like she's done. Right. Well, Especially any other obstructions, right? Yeah. <laughs> right. It's we need to be distinguished between the right of way and the know, travel time. lane. Travel, travel portion of the right of way. That's what we need to say. Because we have trees growing in the right of way. Right? Mm -hmm. So she needs to get it onto the grass. Out of the, she needs to not park vehicles or other in the travel, in the portion. travel portion of the right of way. That's correct. Okay. So maybe what, what I'll do is, if it's okay with the board, I'll draft something. I'll run it by, I can either run it by John or I can run it by Cliff. And then if we need, think we need to, we can run it by Jim. That's a pretty simple instruction. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't have to be long, the letter. Point blank. Right. No. You had something more? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm all for doing something about her parking there, but I also want you to keep in mind that there are other people that park here, there, and everywhere. Um, I know there's many times when I try to go through Maple Corners and I can't get a truck through there because there's something going on at the community center mm -hmm. and there's nothing we can do about that I mean you're not going to send something to the community center saying you can't park cars mm -hmm. in right away so and again yeah. I'm just Good trying point. to keep it fair for everybody right. yeah. uh, what about the, oh, I know what? she's got she does have a bunch of wood there mm -hmm. in her parking area she does have a, a parking area mm -hmm. so if that pile of wood was piled and put there <coughs> then she could get her car off the road what if we said overnight because I think part of the problem is that it's she parked stuff there overnight. Yeah. And that wouldn't and then that wouldn't be treating her any different than Maple Corner, for instance, right? Right. Yeah. Right. I mean, I think I don't know if that would address Dot's concern or not. Well, I think we can point out. Like I think we can point out that you know we don't send a letter like this to Maple Corner Community Center, for instance, when there's stuff going on there and people can't get through. But Dot's email does say night and day. So. Well, I, and I also would, would suggest that if she had a party, and there were 20 people there, 20 cars there, 
and it was a Saturday afternoon barbecue, and then it ended. Right. And, we, and it didn't happen for another month. We wouldn't when, say that's what goes on everywhere. Right. But when it's a permanent parking space, basically in the middle of the road, that's the problem. Yeah. Right. Well, I just think just no, you're right. Right. No, you're right. the wording is you know it's special right. and right. And yep. you gotta treat everybody fairly. That's absolutely. Great. You're that's absolutely great. right. Thank you for that. I mean, it's definitely a problem. I recognize right. that. I come by there the other day, and it's her car's right. right in the road. And, and a lot of people really try to pull over as close as they can. She just kind of parks. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. We don't have on-street parking. Right. Overnight on-street parking. Yeah. Right. But it is and this is especially important. Right away, so it's hard to and this is especially important with winter approaching and snow plows. Because we do have a ordinance. Well, and we should that. also put her on notice if she parks within the non-travel portion of the right of way. If she gets hit, or a vehicle gets injured, or her property gets damaged by a plow going through, that's on her. Right, but we have an ordinance about not parking in the the winter parking ordinance, which we can attach to this. Okay. You have something more, Cliff? No. I think we got it. And that ordinance does treat everybody the same. Yeah. Okay. Good? Yeah. Great. Cross that one off my list. Okay. There we go. All right. Now we're going to talk about the union stuff. The onion? The onion. Okay, so I think I sent, put, had Katie put some stuff in the... There's this. Right, and I, to start off with, I double checked, it's not 319, it's 19. So I let them know that they had a typo there. So, and I think I sent the board, or I tried to remember to CC the board on some of this stuff. Um, so we responded, and you saw my email, to the to Tim, the two Tims, Union and Labor Relations, about our decision at our last meeting. Um, that we were just gonna say, okay, we choose option one, no problem. Um, and then they wrote back and said, and then I talked to Tim Newman today, and John, you can probably, you're the union kind of guy, because I didn't understand why they kept saying, you gotta make a decision about, um, Referring to the statement in my, this is Tim Newman saying, I was referring to the statement in my September 4th email to you and Mr. Lombard in order to certify the voluntary recognition by the employer, which is what we did last time when we chose option one. We require the employer to verify that the union has demonstrated the support of the employees it seeks to represent. The recognized bargaining unit is appropriate. Okay, so to break that down, I wrote him back and said, how would we know if the union has demonstrated support of the employees and that we are The employees support the union, right? Or is it the other way around? The employees support the union, yeah. Right, you said the union supports the employees. If the union has, if the union has demonstrated the support of the employees right. that seeks to represent them. Right. Okay? So I asked him, so how would we know that? And that we've already um, recognized the union, unit, or the union, I meant union, it said unit, and chose option one, so he called me. And, so he yeah. Um, he was really helpful, he was very patient, listened to all my this. questions, and I repeat to make sure I understood it, because I don't, I've never done this before, you have, yeah. but I haven't. Um, first off, he wanted us to know they are impartial, um, but he wanted to give me some information. One is, we have, there is no requirement that we recognize the union. I said, we don't have a problem with that. We recognize it. We chose option one. <coughs> so he said, under option one, here's what we need to do. The employer, which is the town, the union wants to, the union needs to demonstrate that it has the majority of the members, which is three road crew of the folks, unit. Of the, right, 
to voluntarily recognize. Two ways to do this are, um, we could ask the union if they're willing to show the town the cards to certify that the majority of the employees, which in this case would be two out of three, have signed the cards and the union would show them to us. The, third, uh, the second option would be to ask a third party who is disinterested to verify that the majority of the employees have agreed to the union. And he says, if we don't, if we choose one of these and we can't, and we still can't get, decide or come an option, the board do it. they yeah. would come in and do a, an election. I said, I really don't think that's necessary. No. Um, we're not opposing it. I said, we just don't really understand so what we're supposed to do. So he provides you those two options, the first two options. Let them pick. Right. So, I mean, I think, I mean, it doesn't matter to me either way. But somehow we have to agree that the union has verified that's right. that the majority of the members have agreed to this. Okay, so right. now I get it. But it was just, they kept repeating this hand language. It's like, really, can't you just say this in English, really? <laughs> So, with that being so said, just have a copy of the cards that, that would, right. if the union wants to release it, you will, have a right to an anonymity. Right, right. It's it's pretty like how anonymous is it or whatever the word is anonymous. when we know the three names. Yeah, that's not hard. Right. Yes. And he said, yeah. you know, like if it was three thousand, it was people, a larger group, right? It would be right. hard. You know, they might not want to know, but it's right. like, you know. So the union, the easiest thing would be is if the union just said, okay, here's a copy of the cards, done. If they don't want to do that, then we have to find a third party, disinterested party. So we would have to figure out who that might be, and I don't know that we need to go there yet. Let's see if they'll just give us a copy of the cards. Yeah. Um, and let's see. And then the other thing they keep asking, which I'm like, how are we supposed to know this? Whether or not the, um, the employees sought representation from another organization. It's like, how are we supposed to know that? What do we care? We don't. And that's what he said. All we have to say is we are not aware of any other. You're not aware of any other? We're not aware of this one. Right. <laughs> so we're not aware. Not so. Right. Well, I once they give us the cards, we'll know that they're not pursuing yet another union. That would be silly for them to be pursuing two at once. So I would like the select board to authorize me to write back to Tim Noonan and Tim Lombard. It gets really confusing because it's two Tims. Yeah. Um, with what we've discussed tonight. These two. Okay. That's that on that. Yeah. Room second and approved. Yeah. We all agree. Yeah. I told him, I said, you know, we just all agree. We're not going to, we're, you know, we're going to, just do it and move on. Um, you're going to send a letter to which Tim or both Tim? I'm send an email. Yeah, to which one? Both, both, both of them. Both Tim LeBombard and Tim Noonan. Tim Noonan's labor relations. Well, you Tim send it to Tim LeBombard, cop CC, Tim Noonan. Well, Tim Noonan is the one who responded to me. Yeah, but you're going to be given direction to Tim, Tim LeBombard what you need. Right. And then you're going to, for information reasons, you right. know. Right. And I did ask them going for, forward, okay, so now this union's established. I, I didn't ask them about dues because that's up to the union to take care of that and to work with Sandra to have them, you know, with hell out of paychecks. Um, so what happens now? You know, we're getting into budget season. So does everything stay the same? Well, until, and I said, because I want to be clear, who's responsible if the union wants to come and talk to the board about, you know, negotiating this or negotiating that? It's on the union to come to the board. I wanted to make sure it's not something we have no, to keep not, track of and no, do. No, but I just want to be clear in my head so that I'm not forgetting something. And he said yes. So after this, it's on them. Okay. Um, okay. Traffic ordinance. And I forgot to send it to Katie to put in here, but there is a document that I was starting to fill out 
online based on um, information from the Vermont League of Cities and Towns. It gives you all these different steps to do, like when the select board approved the amended ordinance, within 44 days, somebody from the town residents can file a petition with 5% of the registered voters to um, not a call for a public hearing. Call for a public hearing, which would be a special town meeting type thing. So this whole procedure thing, it's really helpful. You can go in and put in the days. So if no document or no petition is filed within 44 days, then the ordinance becomes effective in 60 days from the time that it was amended or adopted. So that was the research I've done. Um, and Rose, Toby never really responded to your? I don't think so. So I'm not sure. You sent, did you send a? He just sent another, he just sent another document, which is the same document we already had, but didn't answer Rose's <coughs> questions. Did you see the email I sent? Yeah. <coughs> Alfred's usually pretty good about getting back to me. I have to give the credit. There. Do you think it's? Messed up the way it's written. I think there's a bunch that, like your point about all those roads all on one town highway. Yeah, I saw the town, town highway 46 it's, is not. It's very confusing as to which. I mean, each each road should have a name and a number. Right. right. Well, we and asked on Toby. That form. Some of them are. There's like three or four roads on the same town right. highway number. Well, and if somebody gets a speeding ticket, and it's not clear in the ordinance, they can. Right. They can, uh, what's the right challenge. word? Challenge. challenge. Challenge it because the ordinance isn't clear. And we asked Toby to clear those things up. And I don't see that it's been done. So I don't see that yeah, we can. I mean, how do you change? How do you change? Like In the ordinance. Those three, well, those three, three or four road names have the same town highway number. So They do have the same town highway number. Yeah, that's, that's In that, Rose's point. Was yeah. that, <coughs> That's why it's confusing. So is that something that we have to add town highway <coughs> numbers to, right. the, to the whole thing? Well, you'd have to put the town highway number 46 and whatever the, the road name road, a road name is because it like for instance, Pekin Brook and North Callis Road are the same road number, right. but portions of it are named differently. Yeah, right. Which makes no sense. Right. But so it is what it is. How, I mean, how did that come about? Is that, is that something that the state did? Because I have of, no idea. Because some of those roads are class no, two, so if they're class two, then they're, they're combined. That was That's page a, seven? That's a town highway. Um, yeah. Page seven. My, my understanding is that the, they segmented a lot of roads, like, uh, what do they call it? Yeah, they're right there. Here. The town highway 46 is Wisconsin. Oh, well, that's the mother and me. Adamant, Lightning Ridge. What should you do, smack you? I did. I smacked you. Where are you? See, you have town highway 46 right here. Yeah, and then it has them clumped together. Bliss Pond Road, but Father what Road, Adamant, Lightning Ridge. But what, but what happened, what I was looking at is, okay, so what happened to town highway 47? And... This talks about 48, and this talks about 57. And then Town Highway 61. So the whole thing doesn't And that doesn't even make sense. This pond make... is distinct from Fowl, Fowler, and Lightning Ridge is definitely distinct from. So how are we going to get this? Yeah, see, they're talking about coming, you know, we yeah, coming off the county no, no, road. I'm not sure if it was put together by the state or if it was just, you know, well, the traffic, we should find that out. The traffic ordinance is put together by the town. But if these are but if these aren't the road names, how do we who arise at those is what Alfred's saying. I don't know. Right, but can we look at a map and see if maybe this just maybe this whoever put this in here it isn't right. Well it's just no, it's the same on the map. It is. It is. Because you look at I've got a map at the shop and it, it it's it goes through and that, that town highway number is throughout the whole even when the road changes, mm -hmm. when the road name changes, it's still like Bliss Pond comes down to right. Fowler, Adamant, or all the right. way down all Lightning the map Ridge. Is still the same. So is but there? It's not all one road, so it should be each road should, should have, have an a number. individual number. Right? Yeah. So maybe it is the state then that we would have to ask. I don't think we can adopt this tonight. Yes, we can wait. Um, I hate to keep putting it off.
lots. I'd like to just get it off our plate, but I want to do it right. Is there a town highway 47? Well, it's, I think Lightning Ridge is 47. Well, I think that's an error in the ordinance. There's all three of those, or four of those roads. Well, that's a 47. I wonder if you and I should meet at the shop or here. Look at the map that you have. Compare it with this because it's still not right. Toby was supposed to make it right. Maybe he thinks he did. <coughs> right. Well, I think it's more than than just striking it. It's, I think we got to research and see right. if it's if it is if those numbers are dictated by the state. Right. Then if they're not right, they need to change it. Right. Right. Or or we have a state version and we have our own version. Well, no, we, our roads yeah. should match theirs, or theirs should match ours, in whatever way. Right. You know, I'm curious, is uh, Worcester Road and Kent Hill Road the same road number? I'm just curious. Do you know? I don't. I, I usually refer to this in the map. Mm -hmm. when I'm trying the, to the reason I, I'm, I'm asking is back in the 50s, you probably know about this story. The state had, had a plan to do an east-west corridor. And they were going to go from Worcester, Worcester Road. Through Callis? Through Maple Corner, to Kent Hill Road. To do what? To the Moscow Woods Road. They wanted the east-west to connect Route 12 to Route 14. Uh -huh. And they wanted to pave that. Uh -huh. And the state wow. came in and actually surveyed it. And we're getting ready. And there was a, I don't know the woman's name, it was brought up to me by... Gary Schultz, I think, or Eva or somebody, said there was this old lady, she was like 80 years old, and she went out in the middle of the night and pulled all the stakes. <laughs> and she did it, she and her contingent, the raging granny contingent kept doing it. And the state said, well, if you don't want payment, we're not gonna give you payment. So there, and the town's like, exactly, we don't want payment. <laughs> we don't want people going 55 miles an hour. For a town. So that was a story, of, but, I like that story. but if you notice, you know, Worcester Road is, a wide road. They actually had done some improvements in the 50s oh. to Worcester and some of the other stretches. That's really interesting. Yeah, and it, they were not happy. So. Well, I'm wondering if you and I should sit down. We can do it here at the office and go through this line by line. And if we have questions, find out who we ask at the state level. Mm -hmm. Well, it'd be Sean. 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 Would be for, for sure. But if you and I go through it first. Line by line, we have Rose's comments, which I want to keep right. on the radar. And just yeah, double check always, everything, I've, which I thought we'd done. the same concern that Rose brings up over the years. I've always looked at that, and it's like, man, there's, there's three road names under the same town highway right. number. Yeah. Yeah. And how do, you, how do you determine, or how do you right. know? And I really, you know, I mean, I certainly have a big self-interest. I mean, Lightning Ridge is where my home is, and sure. so that's what I was just trying to see, like, so that's really all I looked at because, you know, I'm not familiar with town-wide, but so I just zeroed in on my own but neighborhood. Alpha, right. But And then I saw that there's no stop signs yeah. either at the top or the bottom. Well, and so, a lightning ridge, you mean? The stop signs are there, but it's not in the it's ordinance. It's not in right. the ordinance, right. So I think, I think that we need, there's a fair amount of work to do on this ordinance. Before we, before approve we really, it. Yeah. before yeah. we make any changes, we should try to do as many as we can. And do it right. Before we right. Yeah. yeah, no, I agree. So can we get together like Sunday next week maybe? Sure. Okay. Yeah. And you and I can just go through line by line, have that map that I think I have a copy of it and you have one. Yeah. I've got a large map that's on the wall over there. But it's probably easier to read than the one I have. Yeah. 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 I can you know, it's just tacked to the mm -hmm. wall so I can read that. Be nice to do it right on the computer. Are you available anytime next week? It's going to be tough. Um, let me know what you guys work out as soon as you can, and I'll see if I can make it happen. Yeah, because it would work to have two more eyes, other set of eyes on this. And another option, if I couldn't, if you both just scribble it on some paper, and then I can... Yeah, well, I can do that. I just thought of... There's another set of eyes, and then maybe having it so we can call it up on the screen. But Alfred did make a point. If you could find out from VTRANS, who does it at, at designating mm -hmm. actual highway numbers? And there may be another process, because we have a town highway map we submit to them for aid. Right. Mm -hmm. and right. 
So we may, we may be, have, right. we may need to adjust, I don't know, we may need to confer with them. So, well, I think the, the bottom line is we need to work on this some more. Yeah. Well, there must be a process for like even, even numbering new roads, like, well, I was thinking of Chapin, the Chapin Road development, but Chapin Road was always there. But is it Blackberry Ridge at the end of it, or is that the name of the development? Like, yeah. there must be a process for if we had a new road. Yeah. But we do have a process. But who what, gets the number? We'll put the number on it. Where's the number? So, like, now we have old roads without a number? Maybe. Yeah, right. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, we should look into this because you've got yeah. to go. I mean, there's going to be times where there's going to be a new road built. Right. And so do we have to take it over? But the one that Doug Lilly put up the sign, Doug Lilly. Oh road, yeah, the private right, road. But that's private. That, that's private, so we don't have to worry about that. But the right. one that Rose is talking about, Blackberry Ridge. Right. Exactly. If if Blackberry Ridge, the people there decide that they want their road maintained and they want to pay to bring it up to code then it's going to be a town road. Mm -hmm. It's going to need a name. It's going to need a highway number. I thought it already so it has a name, but it's got a name, but it's going to Does need, it's going to be recognized by the town. Right, if we want to And, and maintenance. put onto a map, which oh, is right, going right. to require a town highway number. Right. Yeah, so they don't get a number if they're private. No. Right. No, they don't get Because the town doesn't maintain yeah, a town highway number. Yeah. Right. I know, so. All right, so Alfred and I and maybe Cliff will work on this further which makes perfect sense to me to get it right. All right. Um, so you got that in a minute, it's okay, Rose? Mm-hmm. Okay, thank you. Um, 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 all right, so next up, letter to the shed. All right, so next up, um, I haven't scheduled a meeting with the surrounding towns, Janet, has done some draft legislation, and I got to focus back on that, but I haven't had time. Um, oh yeah. And then she contacted the Orange Select Board because they had a problem with pigs running loose. Oh yeah, it's like on the news. Hundred pigs or something running 250, loose. Two fifty, I think. Two fifty. Really? So we can go scoop them up. I think I think <laughs> almost all of them are scooped. I think. That's what I heard. Yeah, I think almost all. Yeah, they got them almost oh, all. Oh, the farm back. got them back? Yeah. yeah. But she did send the legislation to Orange, and they're interested. Her rep the representative from Orange is interested in signing on. So, stay tuned on that one. Um, let's see what else. IT? You have any update for IT? No. Um, not really anything from what we discussed at our, our last meeting, um, John, we went into executive session just to talk about um, some contract things, um, minor differences, nothing significant. I can brief you on that later. Um, that would be the only update. Mm -hmm. Everything else, everyone here is present for it. Heard. I will say that we uh, do need to get back on task, though, to make a decision how we want to proceed. I don't know if we'll have time to do that at the next meeting because it is a pretty full docket. Um, and we could do it if we start maybe earlier, start at 6. But I don't know what everybody's work schedules are. Yeah. So if we did it on the 23rd, are you working on the 23rd? Well, whatever is two weeks, is that two weeks from today? Yeah, must be, yeah, so I would be working. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll figure it out. Yeah. It? Sure. Yeah, thank you. Um, I was going to have the town hall committee do an update tonight, but we need to work with Cliff, Sandra, Donna, and I are looking to get together to go over budgets. Um, there have been some differences in budgets, and a lot of it, most of it, a lot of it has to do with. Um, the way bookkeeping was done when Donna was treasurer, which was the QuickBooks a modified cash accrual or something, mm -hmm. and the way it cash is done basis. right. And now it is no, now is a cash basis. Yeah. yeah. Now now is Nemric, and it's cash basis. Um, so I want to get some of that stuff straightened out before I have Donna and John come to the select board. I did have Katie put in the folder 
this latest update, um, and I gotta say, you guys, John McCullough has been like living, breathing, sleeping at the town hall. We have got to get that man some help. I'm worried, I mean, at his age, not that he's in bad health. He's but my age. No, no John said he's one, one year and three months to be in seven. They've talked with Jackie, who was Ernie's bookkeeper. bookkeeper. So I want to get all that straightened out before we come to the board to do an update, because I don't want there to be any issues. Um, and like I said, we have got to do something for, for John. He is, I mean, like I said, he just eats, lives, and breathes know, at that I know, place. I know. And, you know, we've got a few people that have come in to do some volunteer stuff. We need volunteers to go and help and not expect to get paid. They can put out a little for work. Yeah, so here's what he's done in the last two weeks. Well, sometimes that can be worse because you get a lot of people that don't have to do it. But skilled people. Well, that's what you say. Skills what are the skilled working on? I mean, where are they at? I'm not exactly sure now where they're at. Because so the other carpenters are working on the siding, right? The exterior siding. Right, and then he's had um, a couple of volunteers who Donna sent us a picture of one of them. I can't remember his name. Well, no, they've been mainly the work. Oh, I've been board. doing most recently is related to the warm, the warm board, board, and board. then putting down that, getting that installed, getting the flooring put on top of that, getting that oiled. You see, John's working on installing the warm board, and he's had, gosh, I can't remember the guy's well, name. Well, I think the I think the other crew is doing that too, Ernie's crew. Right, they're trying to get Ernie's crew back on track. I mean, this has been hard for yeah. everybody, you know, for the main person to just right. die in the middle of all of it. It was horrible. And John has jumped in, you know, front and center, kind of trying to help supervise the crew over there. He's been working on that place night and day. Um, we owe him a huge debt of gratitude. And I don't, words aren't enough to thank him. Um, so there we are. Uh, I can add. Good to while well, Alfie's here too. Um, that uh, I have, with regard to the quotes for the septic system, I volunteered to help John out there because he hasn't had time to follow up with you uh, because he's gotten some independent quotes, but we want to see, compare that, get an apples to apples mm. comparison, what it would look like if we had the road crew doing that work. And um, he just hasn't had the time to follow up with you on that, so I've volunteered to do that. Um, and at some point, Donna and John and I are going to sit down, and they're going to tell me what they need, so I can then buzz you, Alfie, and say, okay, this is what we need you to come up with for us, so that we can put together, effectively, the Callus Road Crew quote for the septic system. Yeah. Okay, let me know if you need me to sit in. Well, I can assure you it'll be a whole lot less than yes. the quote that you Absolutely. Guarantee it. Absolutely. But what we what we really want to drill down into is, you know, clearly the labor costs that are included in these other quotes are sunk for us because, you know, we're already paying the road crew. But what about the materials? Right. And that's where we think you can get creative, I'll be able to help us save some money there as well. Yeah. Yeah, because he can get it directly from the pits. They're going to get it directly from the pits and add a markup. Exactly. Right. Right. Exactly. Markup and, and truck in. I mean, our trucks. Right. Sure. Learn to get that sun. So, yeah. Right. And like I said, you know, we just, that will be really helpful and relieve a lot of stress on John. Exactly. A lot. But he's been so busy that Don hasn't even been able to nail him down to get a time right. for us to meet. Right. But I we'll mean, get there. I just don't want him to get hurt because he gets overtired. You know, we don't we want something to happen. That's not. Well, Ernie worked himself to the bone. Yeah. You see where that was. Right. We don't want that to happen to John. So anyway, so that's that's it. Thanks for volunteering. Yeah. Um, on the twenty third, we have this CVRPC RCT GMTA coming to talk about this Route fourteen commuter <coughs> bus, um, and then. CVRPC Rotor Road Inventory, Alfred and I, and Toby was there, Private Toby was there, Stephanie, K 
Kaplan. Um, I got my right. Have I got my right road thing? No. Yeah. No, that was that was the resilient roads thing we did last week. That's right. different. But this road erosion thing, you guys weren't available because that's when you went to pick up the truck. Yes. So it was Pam, Dan Courier, Toby came for for a while. Larry Bush was there. And this is to talk about the road erosion inventory that CBRPC has been working on with Alfred for us. When was this? The, that road erosion inventory report meeting was a couple of weeks ago. And the other meeting is that rule, yet to happen? That was last week on Thursday. Oh, I thought it was just 923. Where? She's going to give us a report on 923 oh, meeting. I see. Right. I see. Okay. And so Dan Courier is part of the CDRPC Route 14 thing. So while he's here, we thought we'd combine two things together to have the road erosion inventory report. Because we reviewed it and asked a few questions and comments, so they were going to go back and make clarifications. And so then, Dan's coming on the 23rd? Yes, along with Bonnie. And then these two people I see. from R RCT and GMTA. It's two separate presentations. What's but RCT? Rural community transportation or something. Okay. It's the equivalent of GMTA, okay. but it's those red buses. Mm -hmm. And they're looking to do like Morrisville, St. Johnsbury commuter bus, like down Route 14. So that'll be on the 23rd. Hopefully we can have a town hall update. I would do that first before the all this other CDRPC and road stuff. Um, can't think of anything else. Anybody think of anything else I'm missing? Nothing? No, yeah. there's, there'll be a, I think there's a right away turn back coming. Okay. But that will be short. I already know about it. I've looked at it. I've <coughs> talked with them. God bless you. Bless you, John. Oh my goodness. Oh, so much better, trust me. I know, but you look like you're fading. You're not fading. Oh, okay, anything else you want to re review and approve minutes and more? Do you have anything else? No, I'm good up here. Just okay. just me. Yeah. yeah, you didn't have to stay this long, that's for sure. Right? Yeah, no. Well, it's nice to keep us company, though. That's right. <laughs> that's right. We appreciate it. Yeah. As long as you stay away from those snow plows. <laughs> right. <laughs> Thanks, so, uh, yeah, thanks, Alfred. Good night. Take care. Uh, minutes. There are a few sets here. I say we go for it. Yeah, there's only two. I did Very review them. Rose, did you look at them? Yeah, and I even tried to make changes to one of them, and I don't know. Let's see whether or not it happened. <laughs> <laughs> well, at That's first right. I didn't have permission, and then I had to like click on permission. Then when the permission came back, it like flashed. Robbie Richard, and then it like went from to Kate. Oh, yeah, he set this up. So, yeah, because he set this up. Right, right. Well, my question was so I'm these not, are the I'm minutes. Not sure, I'm not sure. This is from the. What's the date on this? August one? 5. This is right. This is when we set the tax rate. Oh, August 5th minutes. Yeah. I'm not sure. Special. Hmm? It's a special one? Yes. August 5th. Six. Yeah, it was a special. So, okay. Yeah. Um, so my question is, and I want Sanders, I don't think we can improve these tonight. Because I'm not sure this thing about the veterans thing, the amounts, I'm not sure that's right. The state allows for 10000 per veteran. Cal's allows forty. Therefore, Cal needs to raise $300,000 in taxes. For the veteran, I want Sandra to double check that. I'm not sure that's right. Yeah, maybe it's thirty thousand. You think it's thirty thousand dollars times ten veterans? Well, I don't think we have ten thousand. No, I think it's I think it's the grand list is affected to the two hundred thirty. No, right three. in the first sentence there it says veterans exemption utilized by ten Calis residents. Right, but I don't know. That's that a forty thousand dollar reduction of their grand list value. Right. right. So it, so it has the grand list impact would be. Um, so 
So it doesn't. About 300 is it then? But that doesn't add up now, does it? No. So that's why I want Santa to double check that. Yeah. Unless some vets have a very low value property under 40,000. Well, and that's what I'm not sure. I don't. I want if we're going to have it in the minutes, it should. Yeah, that's it, it's right. helpful. That's correct. It's helpful, but I want it to be right. Um. I don't remember if I made anything else down below. Do you remember you doing anything else, Rose? Can you squint then? Slap his hand. I know. No, I'm just making a note here. So oh, yeah, say. sure. He's writing something. This is 8, 5, 8, 5, 6. Okay. And I even got creative. I even found how to send my comment to Sandra at her email address. Oh my goodness, you are Whoa. so techno savvy. <laughs> no. Yes, I don't think I commented on this. I think it's the other side of it. And I just wanted to be clear because when we're talking about the redesign, mm -hmm. um, the space initially was just the town clerk treasurer. Now, we've got a lot more people. So I just wanted to be clear in the minutes Should about that. Should be interior redesign. Can you, oh yeah, can you say interior? Redesign. Underneath the T squealer down below. Interior redesign. Yeah, yeah, that's the second paragraph. But we should say it at the top too. Oh, up there too? Interior. Interior redesign. So people don't get upset. Yeah, we just leave it like that. Yeah. That looks the more stuff. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know. I think it was including communication and IT, not just, to me, they're, they should be identified as two separate things. It is. So, <coughs> no, so I that. Oh, that's because I put it in. Oh, do you said that? <coughs> right, because we talked about phone right. and IT infrastructure. Right, right. Okay, and then, I don't know if there's anything else, I can't remember. It's not. So we'll have to. So we're not gonna. No, we'll. Yeah. We can just, you can just questions. say we'll. Right. We're we reviewed and agreed on the eight five minutes, but we need the treasurers to answer the question about the um, veterans exemption. Under item four. Okay. So the next minutes are August 26. Did we get the 12th already? I didn't see the 12th in there. No, I didn't see it in there. We might have done them the last meeting, I can't remember. Which ones? August 12th. Mm -hmm. So let's see if you could scroll down five and we'll see if there's any comments from me. Oh I know. I think I put in that comment up above. But I don't know. Um, 
looked like when he stuck it in there. No, I put that in because it wasn't clear that it was. Oh wait, it, it thinks it is. We still yeah. haven't heard back from the school, the, the district about our letter. No, I sent the superintendent an email. She didn't respond, so I sent my email. I wonder if it took them. Oh, here you go. Oh, look at that. Yeah, Rick purchased that. Yeah, a little bit yeah. more stuff. Yeah, yeah so I think fine. whatever else I put in there, it worked. Okay, and can you go back up to the change I made to see if everybody's okay with that? Um, this guy who was in the audience, do you guys remember that guy that was sat over here? And he was talking about Apple Hill, I think, wasn't uh -huh. he? Yeah. Um, where, yeah, because there's a class four section. Right. Uh, Richard Hyde commented that the increased rain during the winter there's oh, on either side. Penned in a very small tall buildings on either side. Um come on the um because it, we talked about it was on Apple Hill. I maybe mean, it doesn't really matter, but I just thought it would be interesting to to say. And I don't think we need to have in there about John that antidote that he talked about. Remember that thing about the women? Yeah. I don't want that in there. So we could just get rid of that. I did bring up to this John Lenz guy who's, who wrote me back and said the students are going to be sending us a proposal to do this project. Mm -hmm. One of the things we put on their radar is just in general school buses in Vermont. Oh. Um, what other towns and bus companies use for tires. I brought up the issue with the tire thing to John Lenz. Yeah, because yeah. I don't know what's going on. I keep bringing it up. And because we never, right, well, that's why I figured I'd bring it up. And the students can put it on their radar as something that they investigate. Oh, wow. Uh, how, yeah. other, how other towns oh, and other districts that. do that. Oh, cool. I'm wondering if we're getting blown off on that, too. I think we are. So that's why I brought it up to this guy. He was really, he was great, wasn't he? Great. Oh, yeah. Well, right. if, you know, not to sidetrack too much, but I think if we do not, if they are not responsive, if Scott Thompson does not put it on the agenda, we've asked him twice. Well, and I sent... I don't think it's been put on the agenda no. ever. No. And so then I think we send a letter, because I think we need the CYA, because, you know, it'd be just our luck if a bus goes off the road, flips over, and then they point and finger blame at us. Do you, when you have a chance, do you want to start drafting a letter? I would do that. Um, because, like I said, I did. I'm you really were, fired up about this. I know. You weren't here, so, so in, your, in your seat, I brought this issue up because I thought, what do other towns do? And other bus, you know, other school districts, because they're looking at all these different road issues. And, if, and I told them, you know, we get blamed if the bus can't go, but yet the bus doesn't have adequate furniture right. equipment, you know, then why would. It's just less about the bus going. And stop it's it. more about steering and stopping. Right. And right. you can go, go, go up the hill, but when you come down the other side of that, right. you need to be able to steer. Well, and then and I said, you know, our road commissioner, I think Alpha was here. Yeah, Alpha was here when we were talking about it. Um, had just gotten done, you Same. know, sanding and yeah. maintaining the road. And then, and I said that you had gone out there and looked and checked the tires and discovered that they were not appropriate right. for the season. So, just wanted you to know, and because you weren't here, I brought it up. Thank you. And I would accept Rose's change about yep. that. So, well, and maybe we can ask to put the. You know what? Maybe we need to delete this whole sentence. Just the one right at the strikeout. Maybe we should just ask to be put part. placed just on the agenda. Right. For the next school board meeting, you and me, Denise. Yeah, we could. Maybe Alfred can come with us. See, um, the problem I have, Denise, is if we just take out that portion of it, the, the sentence doesn't make sense. Right, well, we have to fix the sentence. We could just say John Lenz, but oh, we need to take out by prioritizing the needs of women in that community. All right. We don't get to put that in the straight whole thing. So just that whole sentence. Right. Denise, is this pumpkin bread? It's pumpkin zucchini. It's delicious. Oh, good. Thanks. I haven't tried it. Huh? Um, and was there anything else we needed to? No, it's all there. Okay. Good to go.
Oh, wait a minute. I put it in red because I did that editing thing that Sharon's always bragging on me about. Is that little pencil thing up there at the top right? Mm -hmm. I did it with that. The little still pencil thing. Still didn't, uh, didn't put your name back on? I don't know. That's fine. But we just need to change it back to black. Hold on.